Good morning, everybody. Jesus is Lord. Hallelujah. Bless you from wherever you guys are tuning in from. This is Evangelist Charles Kruger. Welcome to morning prayer. You are in South Africa. If you're on the other side of the world, welcome to evening prayer. <laughs> so bless you. I don't have hot chocolate now. My lift didn't show up, so I'm not in the prayer and evangelism center. But wherever we are, that's where the church is. Amen. So we're going to pray. And this is a time of worshiping Jesus. And I don't have any music on today in the background we're going to worship him in spirit and in truth and just just give him statements of adoration from our hearts that we that we believe and that we mean and we're gonna you know just tell him how much we love him so it's going to be awesome and it's a worship session this is a practice of the present presence of the holy spirit session so we are going to engage we're not just gonna look it's not just something we watch but at the very least watch <laughs> and then there will be an impartation so let's just worship jesus we've been to pray in tongues we're going to worship in tongues we're going to pray for one another if there's any prayer requests let just let it wrap. just put your prayer requests even for other people put prayer requests for other people put prayer requests for your government put prayer requests for your your um municipality or your state or your city or, or, or your family or whoever just put the prayer request here and as you are putting it on and we might not read it all but the lord sees it and um, there's an anointing a corporate anointing and a agreement of faith when the saints come together amen tony bless you red bless you 9 p.m oh that's awesome that's not too bad morning love world family event stian camp sean Ooh, I will miss. Ooh, glory. Thank you, Jesus. Rose, bless you. Protection for President Trump. Amen. Father, Father, we're going to pray for President Trump now. Um, did they already do the the debate? I didn't see. We didn't have signal here. That means we didn't have internet last night on the on the fiber. <laughs> okay. So Father, we thank you for your glorious presence we thank you holy spirit when we can come together boldly into the throne room of grace by the blood of jesus we can plead and apply and sprinkle the blood the precious blood of the lamb of god upon this broadcast upon every person every profile every prayer request every comment everyone everyone represented here lord in jesus mighty name i thank you for for your grace and your mercy Help us pray, Holy Spirit, inspired through prayer, as we worship in spirit and in truth. We give you all the glory, we give you all the honor, Lord, and we love you. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen and amen. Glory, Lord. Glory, glory, glory. Father, we pray for President Trump. Shed, oh, Tony, how did it go? How did the debates go? Well, let, don't tell me. I'll go and check it out. I'll see it. I'll watch it myself. <laughs> I'm very interested to see what's going to happen anyway so thank you father for president donald trump that you have set him in a in a place that he's standing up for righteousness lord he's standing up for truth he's standing up for religious freedom he's standing up for life pro-life lord and there's a lot of things that lord that you want to establish still i just feel in my heart father that he is not yet finished that he needs to continue and needs to have a double and you anointed you told me to anoint from the horn lord president donald trump even on the broadcast for re-election and we did so and we thank you father that it is absolutely your will your desire lord in jesus mighty name we thank you lord give him strength give him endurance give him patience lord Lord, bring him in and show him exactly what your will is, your perfect will. Baptize him and fill him with the Holy Spirit so that he will be talking in tongues, Lord, so that they will have divine wisdom, divine instructions from heaven. Give him visions and dreams, Lord, plans and strategies from heaven in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We give you the glory. We plead the blood of Jesus over his life, over his family, over his administration. Lord, even over the elections, that's already taking place in so many places. They are already voting in the United States. And Father, we pray, pray that there will be no corruption, that there will be no um, things happening under the table. And 
No bribery, Lord. Let it come into the light. Let it be exposed, Father, in Jesus' name. And I thank you, Lord, that your perfect will will be done. Lord, Satan's plans, Satan's strategies and his assignments against the elections, Lord, to try and corrupt it and try and abuse it and manipulate the elections. Father, we cancel it in Jesus' name. Lord, let it come into the light. Let it all come into the light in Jesus' name. We ask for the light of your countenance to shine upon the elections in the United States. Lord, that it will not be that that the devil comes with deception, that the devil comes with his assignments and his um, lies and his um, that there will be no thievery, there will be no stealing, killing and destruction, but your hand of protection will be upon the freedom to vote in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord. Peace, 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 peace in Jesus' name, that it will go smoothly, Father, and you are a just God, you are a righteous God, and the world belongs to you. Lord, you love the world. You gave your only begotten Son. Lord, and how much will you not with him freely give us all things? So we thank you, Lord, that this election will go smoothly it will there will be no cooking this election in jesus name or what what the words are thank you holy spirit but it will all cheating thank you tony cheating then there will be no cheating in jesus name amen amen thank you jesus so let's just thank the lord thank the lord thank the lord you know when you worship god you don't need music. Um, you, we think of worship in terms of a song that we sing. <laughs> That's not always the case. Uh, worshiping God is something, it's statements of adoration that comes from your innermost being. Dave Robeson has a whole, yo, a massive series out on worship. And talking, of, talking about, uh, he calls it private worship where it's not depending on music or anything like that, or your feelings. It's coming from your heart that is in love with Jesus. And it's not long sentences describing an eloquent speech that is after. It's statements of adoration that you mean every word that you say when you worship Him like that. Not just talking, blah, 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 and, and doing lip service, but talking and worshiping him this has got everything to do with the manifest presence of the holy spirit in your life worshiping god invites his presence he inhabits the praises of his people worshiping him like this this is your primary purpose is to be a worshiper we can't go one day we can't afford to go one day without worshiping god not that he needs your worship <laughs> he doesn't need anything he's god but when we worship him, something happens to us. We go into our very reason for being created, our reason and for, for existing. Excuse, I'm, I'm having a hay fever or something. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. And so, as you worship him, you come into your own and you you are rooted and grounded in the love of god it's like you are more blessed than than the god that you worship in other words you 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 are drawn in um it's the shortcut <laughs> if if there was if there's a shortcut this is the shortcut into the presence and worship invites the manifest presence and it baptizes your senses with the presence of God. I'm talking about your five senses, your physical senses. You start becoming aware. <coughs> There's nothing else like it. Worship will do what tongues will not do or cannot do. Well, tongues can do what worship cannot do. Reading the word will do what worship can't do and what tongues can't do. Fasting will do what the word can't do and what worship can't. So every operation of the spirit has got their specific purpose. But worship, <laughs> it has everything to do with the being aware of the present 
presence of the Holy Spirit. If there's one thing <laughs> that you and I must catch and must hear well and must apply in our lives, it's worshiping God. And I love the songs and it's so on and, and these songs are great, but it's all pre-written and it's written out. But there's something about singing a new song to the Lord. There's something about talking out of your heart to the Lord and worshiping him and, and magnifying him and glorifying him and giving him thanks from your heart where you actually mean that. So, so this is what we're going to do this morning. And it might be a bit strange for some. Maybe you've never ever done this before. That's okay. This is going to change your life. So if I can just blow my nose. <laughs> Glory. I've got this high fever stuff and I never have high fever. I don't know what it is. I'm allergic to getting up so early. That's what it is. <laughs> That's the way you blow your nose in Africa. <laughs> You blow the trumpet. <laughs> I don't mess around. That's <laughs> it, Jesus. Oh, glory. Lord, we love you. Just there where you are. Find yourself a spot where you can just pray in tongues as default. And just when there comes up a statement of adoration, then you mean it with everything. And you might be saying, Jesus, I love you over and over and over again but mean the word so focus this has got something to do with your soul to speak in the understanding and to worship god in the spirit and you might start off in the flesh just taking a few steps in the flesh and then the holy spirit will come and he will reveal jesus to you and I like to pray in tongues for an hour or two before I go into worship because tongues is a revelational gift and tongues and reading the word reveals Jesus. And that is when the light shines and you see Jesus clearly, then it's very easy to worship him. Amen. So you might, if you're doing this alone, you might be reading the word and praying in tongues and making sure that you, that the Holy Spirit is opening your eyes to see Jesus that the love will be stirred up within you. And worship is basically loving God, loving Him. You know, It's not just words of adoration. That's not worship. Worship is enjoying your life. If you enjoy your life and you smile, that's worship to God. That's honoring Him. If you're walking around complaining, murmuring, groaning all the time, and then... You can't take correction when, when people tell you, no, focus on Jesus. Let's stay in faith. No, but I, 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 I do this. And no, I, but I'm, comp and God knows my heart. No, stop complaining. And you're walking around to all the Christians that you know, and you are trying to make God look bad because you're complaining about God with all your friends. And you've got to stop that. You've got to stop that. That's not on. you got to stop that. And so when you talk to people, no matter who that is, you, you build their faith and you don't break down faith. We, I don't have time for that nonsense. Find yourself some other friend. <laughs> I'll pray with you if you have faith. If you don't have faith, don't bother me with your prayer request because your prayer request doesn't mean anything. If you don't have faith, how must what you understand? I can have faith and I'll stand with you in faith. But if you continue to walk around with no faith and complaining and murmuring and sending me all these long emails about how God will not answer you and he never has and he never will, then you go go find yourself another pastor or some, some pastor that you can bother to two o'clock in the morning. <laughs> okay, get yourself somebody else. I'm not the guy for you. This is a place of faith. This is a, I'm a man of God. I'm not playing around. So let's, let's go in faith. Amen. So stop complaining. Stop murmuring. Worship Jesus. 
If, you, if you're around me, you go worship Jesus. Don't come and try and make God look bad with me. You're at the wrong place. Go knock on another door. Hallelujah. <laughs> so that's just for some spirit. Is they not watching? I don't know. Maybe they I'm not just talking about somebody specific, please. I'm not talking about anybody specific. The Lord knows. But um, that's a spirit. So thank you, Jesus. Let's worship Jesus. Oh, Father. Father, 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 thank you for Jesus. Thank you for the blood. The highest form of worship is communion. So we have, I've got my communion elements ready. Get yourself communion elements. That's the highest form of worship. That's, that's a, you don't get any more intimate than that. That's eating his flesh and drinking his blood. That's it. But the, 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 the greatest thing that you can be thankful for, the highest praise is to praise and thank God for his son and for the blood of Jesus that flowed on Calvary. So let's just worship him. Worship him for the blood that was shed. Worship him for the, for the lamb of God that was given in our stead that he died and took the sins and the curses and the sicknesses of the whole world upon him so that we have an atonement. Thank you, Jesus, for giving your life. Thank you for pouring out your life blood like rivers on that cross, holding nothing back. That precious blood. I just saw you looking down, hanging on the cross. And you looked at the blood that was just oozing and dripping out and just. And you look at and you and you thought, is there no end? Is there no end to the, the it's just going and there's no. There's no stop. I'm, I'll just give it all. And I just saw him giving everything. He held nothing back. The blood ran. His own precious blood. Do you know that you that you appreciate your blood? Do you know that you appreciate your body? And if you look at it and it's being ripped and shred and torn and pierced to pieces, torn apart, there's something of a compassion for your own flesh that you feel. If you see the blood just spilling and spilling and it's spilling and and there's no stopping it. And it's just flowing. There's something of a, a compassion for yourself, for your own life blood. Do you know that? <clears throat> when you look and you think, this is my blood, it's flowing and, it, and it's not going to stop. This is not going to stop. And I see Jesus hanging. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Father. We appreciate the blood. We are so thankful for the blood of Jesus. Thank you. If it wasn't for your blood, Lord, where would we be? We honor you, Lord. Thank you for your life, blood. Thank you for your son. We love you, Jesus. I love you, oh God. Thank you, Lord, for forgiving us, for having mercy on us and for loving us first. We love you because you first loved us, Lord. Oh God. Your great grace, you pursued us and you sought us. We didn't choose you. You have chosen us, Lord. That's how awesome you are. That's how faithful you are. The Lord is good and his mercies endures forever. Your mercies are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness, O Lord. Your steadfast love never ceases. You are the savior of the world. Merciful Wonderful Counselor, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace, the Lion of the tribe of Judah, Lord. Now inhabit the praises of your people, Lion of Judah. We love you, we adore you, we worship you, Lord. Lord, we, want, we have a desire to be aware of your presence. We want to be sensitive to your voice. We want to see you when others can't. Lord, we want to see, we want to have eyes to see. Lord, we want to have encounters with you. We long for you. We long for fellowship with you. We long for, for a touch from you, Lord. We long to know you. We long to hear what you have to say, Lord. We long for an intervention. We long for miracles, 
for our lives to line up with the word of God, with the promises that are yes and amen. We long for you. We long for you. Satisfy our land, Lord. We give you the privilege, Lord, and the honor of saving our souls and quenching our thirst, Lord, and satisfying our hunger. Oh, who can satisfy but you, Lord? Who can satisfy our hunger but you, O oh Father? Lord, we come in faith believing, but help our unbelief. Help our unbelief. You are caring. You are compassionate. You care. You are full of tender mercies and loving kindnesses, O oh Lord. You remember us according to your mercy. Who is like unto you? You remember how many hairs are on our heads, Lord. You know the plans and the purposes that you have for us. Not plans to harm us, but plans to bring us peace and bring us unto an expected end. Lord, who is like unto you? What is man that thou art mindful, un Lord, of him? That thou hast crowned him with, Lord, with glory and honor and loving kindness and tender mercies, that thou art mindful of him. What is man that thou art mindful of him, O Lord? We, we've been weaved together, tenderly woven together in our mother's wombs, Lord. That's what your word says. Lord, Lord, you formed us. You breathed your breath into us, Lord. You've you formed us. We, we are all uniquely made, Lord. We are the work of your hands, and the work of your hands give you glory. When we look at the stars, when we look at the thunders, when we look at the roaring glory of the ocean, Lord, when we look at the mountains and the trees and the rivers and the birds of the air, Lord, and the fish of the sea and the animals, oh, and when we look at the crown of your creation, human beings, when we look at how fearfully and wonderfully we have been made, in your image and in your likeness. Lord, having your spirit, Lord, in us, giving us life. Lord, then we are thankful that we are alive. We're thankful for a good God. Lord, that you are not wicked, that you are not evil, that there's no darkness in you. We worship you, Lord. Lord, we hate and abhor and reject and renounce evil and wickedness and darkness. We embrace the light. We draw towards the light, Lord. We don't want the darkness. Oh God, keep us from the darkness. Lead us not into temptation. Deliver us from the evil one. <coughs> oh, we love you, Jesus. You guys go ahead and talk to the Father and tell him how much you love him and how you adore him and how you appreciate him. And for what he's done for you, give him thanks for the times that he's rescued you, for the times he's gotten you out of no way out situations, hopeless when you thought you're going to, there's just no way out. And he, oh, he always came through for you. Here you are. How old are you? How old are you? And every day you had to have food. You had to have oxygen. You had to have water. You had to have shelter. You had to have sleep. You had to have clothes on your back. There was a lot of things that you needed just to survive and come up to you daily. For how many years? Every day he supplied. Why are you worried now? Why are you now thinking that God's not going to come through for you? How many years? Every day for how many years up until now has God been faithful and now you want to say, God's left me. But you got food in your stomach. You got clothes on your back. You're sitting in your house. You've got electricity. You've got a car. You've got a family. You've got your... But God has forsaken you. Oh Lord, have mercy on us. Oh Jesus. PJ, for 35 years, God's been faithful every single day, man. Hallelujah. That's who he is. He is. He's never going to change. He's the same yesterday, today and forever. Some of you are 60 years, 70, 80. He's always been faithful and so we can trust him. There's a place, Lord, that we can trust you. Oh, forgive, forgive our unbelief. Oh, Jesus. Lord, take this day. This day belongs to you. Let this day be yours. 
Lord, we give you this day. This is your day. Lord, whatever you want to do, wherever you want to go, Lord, whatever you want to say, Lord, say it, Lord. Let this be your day. We give you this day. Let this be, oh Lord, this is the day that you have made. I will rejoice. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Oh God, we know that you have so many surprises, good surprises, gifts, <coughs> miracles, signs and wonders waiting for us throughout this whole day. Some of which we are not even ever going to know about. Lord, you're so, you're so faithful that you don't even show us the things that we are protected from. On a daily basis, you protect our lives. You fight for our lives and our right to live on a daily basis. If Satan would have his way, we would have been dead long ago. If Satan will have his way today, we will die today. But God and Satan's got a million different ways of killing you. Satan's got many, many plans to kill you and to destroy your life. The reason he has not succeeded is because daily God is fighting for you behind the scenes. You don't even know about you don't even we don't even know. And God won't tell you because there's just too many. You won't be able to handle it. You go and hide. You lock yourself in the room, in the safe room. If you knew, if you thought you knew, we don't even know. The things that are stacked up against us. And yet, they are more for us than is against us. Oh God, thank you for your promises. Greater is he that is inside of us than he that is in the world. We want to glorify you today, Lord. We come just as we are, Lord, because we come by the blood of Jesus. We're not basing our prayers upon our own righteousness, but upon the righteousness of Jesus that, and the righteousness of God that has been imputed unto us in and by and through Christ Jesus. We have been made the righteousness of God in Christ. We come, Lord, by the grace, by the mercy of God. We come by faith. We come. We want to tell you how much we love you. Today, we want to give you this day. We want to give you this time. We want to stop, stand still and be still and know that you are God. We worship you. We glorify you. We honor you, Lord. Oh, I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. Amen, Hepzibah. Oh, tell Jesus. Just put there in the comments. Tell him how much you love him. Tell him how awesome he is. Let's worship him together. Oh, glory to God. Thank you for my eyes. Thank you for my ears. Thank you for my hair. Thank you for my skin. Thank you for my nose. Thank you for my teeth, my tongue and my throat, and my neck, and my arms, and my shoulders, and my stomach, and my toes, and my feet, and my legs. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Don't give it a Excuse me, I'm coming. I'm coming now. Ah. Ooh, glory. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus, for coffee. Thank you for hot chocolate. Thank you, thank you, thank you for my dog. Thank you for my bed. Thank you for my roof over my head. Thank you for lights. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus, for the fridge. Thank you, Jesus, for the television. Thank you, Jesus, for the garden. Thank you, Jesus, for the street. Thank you, Jesus, for things that's coming. Thank you, Jesus, for things that were. Thank you for the past, present, and the future. Thank you for spirit, soul, and body. Thank you for connections and friends and family. Thank you for households. Thank you, Jesus, for work. Thank you for the work of our hands. Thank you, Jesus, for purpose. Thank you for destiny. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for your word. Thank you for your spirit. Thank you for your blood. Thank you for the Lamb of God. Thank you for the bread of heaven, for the body of Jesus and the blood of the Lamb. Thank you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. Thank you for this day. We worship you. We appreciate you. We glorify you. Forgive us. Oh, thank you for your mercy. Thank you for forgiveness. Forgive us. Forgive us. Forgive us for neglecting you. Forgive us for not ne always remembering how good you are. Lord, you are good and your mercy is endures forever. You are good. You are faithful and your mercy is endures forever. You are good. You are faithful. You're compassionate. You are gracious. You are merciful. 
You are my father. And I am your son. Oh, we worship you, Lord. Thank you for the spirit of wisdom and revelation. Thank you for your name, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You are the Prince of Peace. Thank you for your peace. Thank you for your kingdom that is within us. Thank you for righteousness. Thank you, Jesus, for the atonement that is there for us in your blood. Thank you for joy in the Holy Spirit. Thank you for the joy. Thank you for the joy. Thank you for the joy that is the strength. Lord, the joy of the Lord that is our strength. Thank you. Thank you for promises. Thank you for healing, Lord. Thank you for deliverance. Thank you for freedom and setting the captives free. Thank you for worldwide revival. Thank you for the nations of the world that needs to, that will come into the kingdom of light that needs to be evangelized. That this will be the day, Lord. <clears throat> that this will be the this will be the generation. Oh Raga Zaka Talamanga, I surrender to you, Lord. Yes. Give him consent. You know that that nothing spells worship like giving him consent to win you over every day, to win your heart and awaken love in you. Give him consent. Just give just permit him. Just that's he's waiting for your permission. When you pray, it's more of giving him permission to intervene in your life. That's basically what it is. Oh Lord, we permit you. We give you consent. We win our hearts. Oh God. Do it, Lord. Do it, Lord. Do it, Lord. Oh God, it's not our responsibility to stay in love with you. Oh Lord, we have not chosen you. You have chosen us. We can't. Oh God, how do we have to fan the flame and fan the flame? And so, no, God, we want to see Jesus that our hearts will fan into full flame. That when we see you, Lord, our hearts will love you. And our hearts will fall for you. <laughs> Show us Jesus, Holy Spirit. We want to see him every day. We want to see you again today. We want to see you again. So that we will love you again. So that we fall in love with again. And our hearts can skip a beat when we see you. Oh, Jesus. Oh, show us your face. face. Show us the Father. Show us. Snot weg is jy. Dank Rika. Oh, Rabba, Baba, Baba, Laka, Sekete. Seventy. You can, oh, glory, Epsi, Babila. Thank you, Lord, that not one needs goes without your notice. Oh, thank you. Okay, Tony. Oh, you are always faithful and loving and attentive to us. We love you and thank you for your faithful love. You never stop letting us know how much you care for us and others. Help us to remember you and to take time to fellowship with you. Amen. Thank you for taking everything difficult and ugly and giving us forgiveness and love in its place. Thank you, Lord, that you, oh, that's awesome, that you always want the best life for us. And have a good plan for our lives. We surrender to your love and destiny for our lives. Oh, come, Lord Jesus, come. Come quickly, Lord. Deep calls to deep. Thank you, Heere, for ons troetel, Heere. Amen. I've got a beautiful little dog here. And this dog, it's not mine. It belongs to Jesus. See that on. Thank you, Jesus, for my gladness and peace and health. Rika and strength and happiness and all the laughs and that you lord you are happy with us i'll shout it out that i love you jesus <laughs> oh there's that harkis 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 i just see little hearts everywhere the whole place is full of hearts face to face lord i want to spend time with my bridegroom my everlasting love Woo, anita bless you <laughs> hallelujah glory 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 Thank you for your forgiveness. Amen, Anita. Just post there. Let me read some of your thanksgivings and your worship, your statements of adoration. Oh, even if you have to say, I love you, Jesus, over and over again, just mean it. Just don't let it be lip service. Just don't let it be empty words. Don't let it be just, just things that you recite like a parrot. 
and or read out of a book only. You know, there's nothing wrong with reading the Psalms and, and doing that and worshiping Jesus. You know what? Oh, they must be hot. Okay? It must be hot. It's not just, I love Obi. <laughs> Bless you. Rango Ziki. There's a bit of a delay here. Thank you, Lord, for never leaving me. Vicky Moyer. Wow. That's awesome. Yes, Jesus. Thank you for never leaving us. Woo -hoo -hoo. I gave him so many opportunities to leave me. I mean, he would have been justified. I mean, he had ways to get out of this if he wanted to. I made sure he had enough, enough opportunities. And he never wanted to get out of this. Jesus, you never left me. I love you, Lord. Bless me indeed, Lord. Betty, that's worship. If you can receive the blessing of the Lord, Betty Melv, bless me indeed, Lord. Now that's a statement of worship. Now that's worship. Lord, bless me indeed. Hallelujah. Oh, that's awesome. Wow. What worship. Thank you, Lord, that you are kind-hearted and never reject us. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Jesus, you are my chocolate of the day. My chocolate, my chocolate. <laughs> you, you must love chocolate, Hanukkah. <laughs> my Lord. Jesus, you're my pizza of the day. <laughs> my, my rump steak, my bultong. <laughs> Ooh, glory. My salad. <laughs> Lord, I love you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Lord, for this moment of prayer and worship. Lindy, amen. Ooh, what a day this is going to be, my Lord. This is already a day to remember. One to remember forever, Lord. Oh, you are the God and the King and the Lord and the Master of this day. Oh, Shera Masakata. That's a deep one. Yeah, that bless me indeed. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for me being part of you. Oh, wow. Love you, King of glory. The glory belongs to you, my Lord. Teolo Montle. Amen. The glory, the glory, the king of glory, the glory, the glory. You know that when you say, Lord, thine is the glory, the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. The glory is, oh, the glory of God is his goodness, his mercy, his compassion, his tender, loving kindness and mercies that never fails and never loses its power. His, his kind heart, he, his character, he, his faithfulness, his compassion, his grace, oh, his mercies, oh, Rabba, Gedere, Devi, Dava, Dolo, Mondo, glory, thank you, Tlolo, Montle, bless you, Mashoko, Televa, Lord, our human words are not adequate enough to describe your beauty, amen, sometimes Celeste, you can just switch over to channel spirit and pray in tongues, when it gets too rough, when it gets too heavy the, and the explosions and the expressions of worship becomes more than you can describe and articulate and voc voc and, and verbalize, then there comes a place where you thank God for tongues because you worship Him in spirit and in truth and it's like, oh, and you go into the depths because the human understanding cannot keep up with this can go oh and the glory can come and it can be so strong and get and it's physical and i mean worship just invites the presence and i mean the manifest presence of the lord oh i am so aware of the lord now and there's no music or anything like that we're making our own music this is music to his ears you know what kind of music Jesus likes? This is the music he likes. It's music to his ears. When he hears his saints thankful, when they appreciate what he's doing for them. Woo! And when they notice things that normally they wouldn't notice. 
you go through your day and you just take things for granted and you don't notice the small little things that he does for you. You know, if you do start noticing what he does for you, when, when people do things for you and you don't notice, you know, but when you notice the little things and the little efforts that people do, you'll stay in love in your marriage. Look, you, 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 we take things for granted. Just look for the things that you normally take for granted that that person is doing for you. Little things that you don't even know and they don't tell you uh, to try and find favor with you or to try and... Sh they're not trying to buy your affection. But you know what? If you just open your eyes and start seeing what people do for you, you'll see that people aren't that bad. And not everybody is against you. And the Lord is doing so much for us. Lord, forgive us for taking you for granted so many times. Randa la manga deleveze ketelemento lo robosha. Great is our Lord and greatly to be praised. He thrills our hearts. Oh, sheda de da gizokutala. Everlasting love, lover of my soul. Jesus, we dance. Dancing before Jesus. Now that's worship. Come on, let's dance, man. Kando, Jega, Dagade, ocean wider than the sky. Oh, this beautiful statements of adoration. Just go on. Just go on putting these beautiful statements of adoration. Ah, man, I'm going to go through the comments. I would tell, I would really advise just throughout the day, just go and look at the comments and read the comments. But you guys are probably reading the comments anyways. I'm going to read all these comments. This is beautiful. I hide within your heart of love for me. <laughs> you are my safe place. Oh, that's beautiful. You're my friend, my husband, my doctor, my provider, my bakery. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Glory. Eddie Farkook. Amen. <laughs> and that's something to be glad of. Hila. Wow. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> oh, man, I'm getting drunk in the spirit now. <laughs> Bella, great is our God and greatly to be praised in the city of our God, on the mountains of His holiness, beautiful for situation. The joy of the whole earth is on Mount Zion, on the sides of the north city. Oh, that scriptures, man, of the great king. Wow, what scripture is that? Thank you, Lord. Beautiful. How beautiful you are, Lord Jesus. Nothing is impossible. My first, my last, my everything. We thank you, Jesus, for your blood that gives protection as we go into work. Amen, Lindy. Thank you for excellence, Lord. Thank you for ability. Thank you for endowment of power from on high. Oh, bless you, Lord. The Lord is so faithful. Carol, he is our father. You honor your word. You honor the prophecy spoken of our lives. Amen, Lord. How wonderful you are. I love to take the Psalms and just read the Psalms. <clears throat> Oh, bless you, Jesus. Praise ye the Lord, for it is good to sing praises unto our God. For it is pleasant, and praise is comely, comely. The Lord doth build up Jerusalem. He gathereth together the outcasts of Israel. He healeth the broken in heart and bindeth up their wounds. This is Psalm 147. He telleth the number of the stars. He calleth them all by their names. <laughs> oh, great is our Lord and, the, and of great power. His understanding is infinite. 
The Lord lifteth up the meek. He casteth the wicked down to the ground. Sing unto the Lord with thanksgiving. Sing praise upon the harp unto our God. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> who covereth the heaven with clouds. Who prepareth rain for the earth. Who maketh grass to grow upon the mountains. He giveth to the beast his food and to the young ravens which cry. He delighteth not in the strength of the horse. He taketh not pleasure in the legs of a man. <laughs> oh, the Lord taketh pleasure in them that fear him. In those that hope in his mercy. Oh Lord, we hope for your mercy. We hope in your mercy. We trust in your mercy before the sons of men. Praise the Lord, O Jerusalem. Praise thy God, O Zion. We are Zion. For he hath strengthened the bars of thy gates. He hath blessed thy children within thee. He maketh peace in thy borders and filleth thee with the finest of wheat. He sendeth forth his commandment upon earth. His word runneth very swiftly. He giveth very swiftly. He giveth snow like wool. He scattereth the hoar frost like ashes. He casteth, casteth forth. What is hoar frost? 16. He casteth forth his ice like morsels who can stand before his cold. <laughs> Glory. He sendeth out his word and melteth them. He causes his wind to blow and the waters flow. He showeth his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He hath not dealt so with any nation. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, glory. Sorry, man. Sorry, sorry, sorry. How awesome are you, Lord? Thank you, Lord, for securing every footstep of your children, for chains broken and shackles of beauty for our ashes. Oh, how we love you, our Lord. Glory to Jesus. Tira Bazaka Jesus, your blood runs through my veins, Rika. Wow. Holy Spirit, you are welcome here. Come fill this place and fill the atmosphere. Amen. Yo, thank you, Adele. Lundy, thank you for holding our children close to your heart, keeping them safe, guiding them in times like this. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for winning my heart. My heart melts in your presence. <laughs> That's beautiful. And longs to ever stay with you. <laughs> oh, worthy, worthy, worthy is the Lamb of God. Holy, holy is his name. Bella, wow, amen. Cindy Lilani says, we're thankful. He's more than enough. Yuki, amen. Oh, bless you, Jesus. You are the air we breathe, Vicky Moyer. Elise, the words of Jesus are my refuge and hiding place. Oh, amen. Wow. Yo. Betsy says, sing a joyful song. Thank you for everybody we met today. We, you love them all, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Lord. Not one is skipped. My heart is yours, Celeste. The Lord is so faithful. Amen, amen, amen. Oh, thank you, Father, for living in us. Oh, Lord, we love you. We glorify you. He doesn't want to switch off the broadcast. He says just a little bit more. Just a little while longer. 
Oh, the Lord longs for you. The Lord longs for you. He yearns for you. He enjoys fellowship with you. He lives for fellowship with you. Don't let the world and the things of the world keep you busy and keep you from your God. Don't get so busy that you that you never spend time with Him. Oh, the Lord longs for you. He's got adventures for you. Oh, Jesus, take me on adventures with you. Oh, I want to be on adventures with you, Lord. Oh, God, I want to travel the world and light evangelism fire and the revival fires all over the world. Oh, Jesus. Oh, in all kinds of places, Jesus. Oh, Randa, Zeki, Telemi. I want to travel with you. Bring me the team that you have, Lord. Oh, Randa, the facilities. Ah, I want to dream with you. You know how awesome it is just to sit and dream with Jesus, just to imagine. Just ask the Holy Spirit to show you, take you on a journey. Just imagine, wow, and let the Lord show you and give you a daydream. And you dream with Him and you think, and you're reasoning together. And you think you're just dreaming and thinking of some, you know what? He's showing you things to come. Fatima, there is power in your name, Jesus. Oh, amen. Lord, we love you. Lord, we yearn for you, Lord. We give you permission to win our hearts today. Do you know that giving him consent? That's the form of worship. And give him, in, invite him, man. Invite him into your life. Open the door. Of your heart. Amen. Travel with him all over the world. <laughs> Come on, now you're talking. Carol. Holy fire. Amen. Tinas. Bless you. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Do you know what? Jesus loves every one of us. Loves every one of you. I want to tell you, he loves you. There's not one he doesn't love. He loves you. He died for you on the cross of Calvary. You are loved. You are precious to Him. And He just wants me to tell you that He's really impressed with you and He's really proud of you and He really loves you and He, he enjoys you and He likes you. That's, that's what He tells me to tell you right now. Amen. And He's right there with you and He's got you in His arms. Amen. Bless you, Jesus. It's awesome, Jesus. Thank you. Let's partake of the communion table of the Lord. Let's, let's go in there. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Some of you want to worship and give a worship seed. Uh, it's love born. Banking details. Some of you want to give a worship seed. Uh -huh. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, let's get our communion elements ready. Bless you in your worship seeds. Oh, this is beautiful. The Lord is going to anoint you now. The Lord is bringing you anointing. He just anoints you. He puts ointment on you from the top of your head to the soles of your feet. He just ointment. Oh, your name is as ointment pot for the anointing of the Holy Spirit upon you. Lord, a tangible presence of the Holy Spirit upon us, oh God. We receive your anointing, O oh balm of Gilead, O oh joy of the Lord, oil of joy. Heal us, bring us healing. Balm of Gilead, balm of Gilead, balsam von Gilead, oh balm of Gilead, Jorogozakata, ha rabba sheke telebedebe, heal your children, heal your people, heal and comfort and cleanse, oh God, oh that's the presence, we can't be the same, we can't be the same when we have been in the presence of our Savior, we love you Lord. Oh, provide for your children, Lord. Provide, oh Father, provide. Let, this, let the captives be set free. Let the finances flow from heaven. Let there be character development, Lord. You know what? When you worship God, that's where your character and the fruit of the Spirit 
is developed so that you can handle the weight of the glory that he wants to pour out on you. <laughs> glory. Sure. That's where it happens. This is where we are. Oh, I mean, just you in the spirit now. Can you feel an awareness and a closeness to Jesus? That's so awesome, eh? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Hipsy Babula. Bless you. Let's partake of the body. This is the highest form of worship. Let's partake of the body of the Lord Jesus. Thank you for your blood, Lord Jesus. Oh, what a morning. <laughs> wow. What a day this is, Lord. Protection. Protect your people, Lord. Protect everyone on this broadcast. Bless everyone. In Jesus' name. Well, I'll see you again at 11. I'll probably be there by uh, the Prayer and Evangelism Center. And um, because my lift didn't show up this morning, man. He overslept. Daniel had for slap. <laughs> but that's okay. God knows what he's doing. This is more intimate, isn't it? Love you guys. Thank you, Jesus. Bless you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We love you. We appreciate you. Amen. I'll see you at 11. The others, I'll see you at 6 p.m. tonight. And others, I'll see you tomorrow afternoon. Tomorrow, Saturday. We're not having in the mornings. We're not, we're just doing the weekends. I'm just doing 4 p.m. And we are going to do personal prophecies tomorrow afternoon. Amen. Bless you. I love you guys. See you.